So, you wanna know how to make a cool triangle motion graphic thing. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender. Uh, once again, taking a look at uh, how to do what I what I just said, pretty much. So, uh, bring it started, I'm gonna hit delete to de get rid of def default cube, because we don't need him right now. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab our camera, and hit delete on that as well, and then grab our uh, lamp, and we're gonna hit uh, delete on that as well, so <laughs> everything's gone. I'm gonna hit Shift A, and we're gonna search for a uh, for a da, 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 a cone. We're gonna grab this cone, and I'm gonna hit uh, Add Cone down here, and change the number of vertices to three, like this. So it's it's kind of like it's kind of like that, right? Um, which is just like a pyramid, I suppose. And then I'm gonna hit Tab to go into Edit Mode, and then just grab this vertice and hit Delete, and then hit Vertice. And I can see we have a perfect triangle there. But the issue is, is that this triangle is not on the origin point. So it's kind of like it would rotate around like this, which is really weird. So I'm going to fix that by going ahead and going up to, I believe it is object, set origin, and then origin uh, to geometry. And then we're going to go ahead and now obviously that's in the right place. But now it's it's way down there. So uh, we can actually fix that by just putting this uh, value to zero once again. Now, we're all good. We got this little triangle, which is really good. I'm going to go ahead and hit... Um, uh, I'm going to go to the material tab, sorry, and then add in this little material by hitting this little button, which is the default material. And we're going to change this from principal BSDF to emission. And then I'm also going to go ahead while, we, while we're here, I'm going to go to render properties, color management, and change this from filmic to uh, standard. And now we can go back to the material tab. Um, and we don't really need to do anything else with this. Uh, but what I do want to do is I want this triangle to be upside down. So I'm going to go ahead and actually, you know what, I don't. I want it to be like this. We're going to do uh, da, 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 we're gonna hit 1 on my numpad and hit Shift A and search for a camera. We're going to add our camera back in uh, and then hit G, Y and move that back there. And then hit 0 to go into the camera's view. Now just click there and grab our grab our, uh, our triangle and then hit R, X, oh, sorry. R for rotate uh, and then actually hit X to rx to rotate on the x-axis and then 90 on our numpad and then hit enter uh now we have our, our triangle standing up which is how we need it um which is very nice so um i'm actually gonna go ahead and if you can't tell like this the origin is technically in the center because the all these values are not the same like this should be probably down here like this um, but we're not going to do that i'm just going to move the triangle down slightly like that so it's kind of in the center um, because it doesn't exactly matter, um, because what I'm going to do is, I'm going to move it a little bit more up than that, actually. Uh, what we're going to do is, because it's going to be, um, because we're not going to be moving it like, like this, you won't be able to tell that it's not exactly in the center, um, but just keep that in mind, um, because obviously it's going to look off-center because this is flat and this is, you know, pointy. So I'm just going to move it down just to compensate visually. Um, about right there, looks good to me. I'm also going to hit S to scale it down. That was G to move, by the way, G. Um, and then S to scale it down a little bit, like that. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and hit Shift D, and then right-click to cancel that uh, movement. I'm going to go ahead and hit G, Y to move that very slightly up in front of the other um, triangle. Um, now, because this is on two different things, this one's slightly bigger because it's closer. So to fix that, I'm going to select our camera. I'm going to go from perspective to orthographic, which we never, ever use, which is great. So now um, we can move this up as far as I want, and it will still appear as if it's the same size as the other one, which is very good. That's what we need. Now, with the second triangle, the one in the front, I'm going to go ahead and hit this little three, and we're going to name this black. And then we're going to select the other one and name that just white, I suppose. Here we go. So now we have two materials. One of them is white, one of them is black. We're going to grab this color of the black and then uh, actually changes from emission, changes from emission, sorry. Uh, no, we can leave it on emission. It's fine because it's going to be black anyway. So we'll just drag the color all the way down to black. And now this triangle will be black and the other one will be white. If we go to material tab, you can now see that we have both of these uh, looking great. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. So. With that done, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the camera's view, drag open my timeline a little bit so we can see what's going on, change my start frame to zero, and then hit this little back button to go to the zero frame. Um, and now I wanna go ahead and make this triangle like scale down and also rotate at the same time. So I'm gonna do the scale down first on frame 10. Actually, let me go to the this tab right here. 
uh, actually this tab, sorry, the second tab, which is the output properties tab, and change the frame rate to 60. Uh, now we're good. On frame 10, I'm going to go ahead and hit I, scale, inside of my big timeline here, inside my big uh, 3D space here, and then go to approximately like frame, frame 50, I suppose, and then hit I, scaling. Now, uh, if I hit uh, S, zero, I can scale this to zero, obviously, um, and then hit I, scale once again. So now you can see when we play this, it will scale all the way down to zero, which looks really good. I enjoy that quite a bit. Um, but what I want to do first is I actually want to grab this keyframe on 50 and then hit G to move this to actually probably like 80. And then I'm going to grab the first keyframe, hit Shift D to duplicate that. I'm going to move that to like 60. And then I'm going to hit S and I'm going to scale that down to about right there. And then hit I scale. Uh, sorry, no, I'm going to actually go ahead and on this keyframe, the second one we just duplicated, hit S to scale it down, then hit I scale. My apologies. All right. Now that we can play this. You can see that it goes down a little bit, then goes all the way, which is what I want. So actually, this is a little bit too much of a scale. Scale it back up a little bit. Um, and then hit I scale. Now it scales down a little bit, then goes quite quickly. Now I want to have this spaced out even more. So hit G again, move that over, hit Shift D on this one, move it about there, and then hit scale a little bit more. There we go. And and that's just a little bit too much movement. Let's go ahead and just get rid of this one in the middle altogether, and then I'll just pull this one over like this. Yeah, maybe a little bit more as well. All right. Yeah, yeah, I like that much better. Okay, so it's much smoother than obviously something like um, something like this where it just goes all the way in. You know, I want it to kind of go uh, slower. All right, cool. So that is that. Uh, now I do want to rotate this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and on opposite keyframes. So not on the same ones. I want to be more dynamic. I don't want to put these same rotation keyframes on 10, 60, and 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put them on uh, 20, hit I, rotation 70 and then hit r y to, to, to rotate it like this um and then i rotation and then on frame 120 i'm going to do r y and then just move it up like that uh rotation now uh there we go if i play this you can see now we have a little bit of rotation which looks really cool i really enjoy this quite a bit now the the seller of this is going to be the fact that this is all going to be um uh transparent so what i want to do is uh, I'm going to go to the, 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 the main tab here, go down to Film, and check tra Transparent. Uh, I'm going to make sure our encoder settings are set properly, so I'm going to go to the second tab here, and then make sure this says File Formats, FFMPEG Video, or you can actually do PNGs if you want to, if you want to render them as images, as an image sequence. But I'm going to do a video because I like doing videos. MP, FFMPEG, and then under Encoding, I'm going to change this from Matroska to, F, uh, to MPG, uh, MPG4, and then we're going to go ahead and go down to Video Codec and make sure this says FFMPEG Video Codec number one. And now we have this RGBA uh, option, which is red, green, blue, alpha. We're going to check that, and now you can see we have uh, transparency when I go to rendered uh, viewport shading, which is good. Um, and then I want to also go ahead and, with our black triangle. I actually want this to be um, not emission. We're going to make this a holdout shader. So now you can see, we can see through it, and now it's everywhere that black uh, triangle is, is transparent. So it starts off transparent as well. And then we play this, you can see the triangle comes into focus. And then I also want it to go out the same exact way. So on frame uh, 220, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this last frame, hit Shift D, move that over there, and then just grab this first frame and hit Shift D, and then just move it like that which looks very good. Now we also have to do the rotation keyframes uh, as well. So what I'm going to do is on this frame, I'm going to hit I, rotation. And then on the last frame, I'm just going to unrotate it by going ahead and opening this up and then just changing the rotation. Actually, not that rotation, this rotation. On the Y, the Y rotation needs to be changed. Uh, put that to zero, then hit I over top of that. And we are looking good to go. Hit uh, play on that. And now you can see it does this weird thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of that. And we're going to, we're going to um, uh, make sure it's always scaled down to zero right there. Which that, that, this is the rotate, this is the scale keyframe. This is the rotation one. I, I duplicated that one by accident. We're gonna grab this one and then move it over, and then now it should be. Yep, there we go. Okay, cool. So that is it for today's tutorial. Hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed it. I know that I did. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.